In just 50 years, Johnson & Wales became one of the most prestigious institutions for food education in the world. And in the next 50 years, it's Johnson & Wales graduates that will solve really complex food system problems, develop more nutritious, more delicious, innovative food products, and fundamentally transform the food scene all over the globe. I want to introduce you to three of those superstars now. Hi everyone, my name is Antonia Stubbs, but on campus I'm better known as Ant, and my major is culinary arts. Hi, I'm Anissa Moise, and I'm a baking and pastry major, and I'm now a rising senior. My name is Victoria Gales, I am a culinary nutrition major, and I'm a rising senior. I think the legacy really means everything to me. It really comes full circle because my mentor back home is actually a JWU alumni. The legacy that I want to leave behind at JWU is something that's more heavily positive. So whether it be with my chefs, I'd like to be seen as hardworking and determined at work, maybe um, more diligent and with friends, just happy and positive in general. So whether it be with like other students, so as a student or as a coworker or as a friend, I just want to leave something positive behind. With JWU's legacy, I want to just make it my own. So when I go into the world, I take the information that staff, students, and the things that I've learned along the way um, and just share it with the world. I think as a chef, JWU has given me the tools, the knowledge, and the opportunities to succeed because I've gotten the chance to meet and work with chefs that truly love the baking and pastry industry and in turn, my passion that was already present since I grew up in a bakery just deepened because these people generally love what they were doing so with the knowledge and with that passion, I feel that it allowed me or allows me as a professional to be on the path for success for my future goals. My goal is to be a culinary educator and by doing this, I hope to impart my knowledge upon them, my skills, my techniques, and I just want to see them flourish, you know? Uh, so this is my favorite question. So with Johnson & Wales and how it changed me, I learned that take every opportunity as it comes, um, especially when you're unsure of yourself. They say millions have a lot of L's, so you gotta take the L's before the W's. Be grateful for opportunities as they come and never be scared to put yourself out there in the world because I did that here and I'm very fortunate and grateful. I feel like a lot of baking and pastry culinary kids experience this is as soon as they go to school they're the little chef but it was fun to be the little chef before even going to school because I was always interested I was always whipping up something in the kitchen it's just nice to like be able to like support it now because I'm actually at Johnson & Wales University studying baking and pastry. Because every person that's come here they always mention they've went to Johnson & Wales Every person that you meet will always mention you've been to Johnson & Wills. It will forever be a part of you, which is why I think it all really comes full circle, you know? Because my mentor went here, now I'm here. The people here that taught here actually went here, and now they're here. And I'm happy to be a part of that legacy. Well, to tie in the 50th anniversary, I feel as though every day the industry is changing, and I feel as if, like, me taking this legacy on and putting it out into the world and showing people that I can make a difference in the world as well. And it's just a lot of, it's a lot of pride I take in this university. And I just want to do great and just be remembered as, okay, I was a JWU grad and a JWU alumni. And like, that's a very important and powerful title. And talking to my grandfather, he's like, I'm already proud of you just because you went down that path and already started to study for it. So I just like hope that someday I can go back and just take over and, you know, keep making my mom and my and like my entire family proud, actually. Well, my parents really did encourage me to follow my dreams and come to culinary school. I wasn't a big fan of school growing up, but now with the support of my parents, I can gratefully say that I'm here today because of them and their support. And I just want to say thank you. Every day I walk the halls and I see the pictures on the walls and I'm like, whoa. Who are those people? And I'm like, maybe one day I can be a picture on the wall too. So now I'm part of the JW Legacy now.